Welcome back. Legal practitioner and chairman of the Electronic Communications Tribunal, Kisi Ejabeng, has been earmarked to replace Martin Amidu as a special prosecutor. The president is, however, yet to make a formal declaration of his nomination the special of, uh, to the special prosecutor's office. His nomination was done by the Minister of Justice and Attorney General, Godfrey Dami, in a letter to the president. The host of Joy FM Super Morning Show, Kojo Yangsen, has some information. He's joining me right now. Kojo, I'm seeing that you are just in the middle of lunch. Give us the details. So this letter was dated the 16th of April, 2021. Uh, it's addressed to the president, obviously, from the office of the Attorney General, uh, heading his re special prosecutor nomination of PC Ajabing. Now, this goes to confirm some rumors that were going around in several media houses that Kisi Ejabeng has been um, uh, chosen for the position. Now, the Attorney General quotes the law, Section 13.8 of the Office of the Special Prosecutor Act 2017, which is Act 959. Now, now this law requires the President um, to appoint a person qualified for appointment as Special Prosecutor um, it, to that position within six months of the office becoming vacant. As you recall, Martin Amidu uh, resigned on the 17th of November. So um, the Attorney General had until the, uh, the 17th of May, or the 16th of May, to make this nomination, but he actually made it all the way back uh, on the 16th of this month of April. Now, uh, when it comes to the section where the Attorney General states his reasons for nominating uh, lawyer Kisi Ajabing, he says, and I quote, I am satisfied that Kisi Ajabing possesses the requisite expertise on corruption and corruption-related matters, uh, is of high moral character and proven integrity, and satisfies all the other requirements stipulated in Section 13, 1 and 2 of Act 959. Uh, the letter also has Kisi Ajabing's um, uh, CV attached. Well, of course, the lawyer Kisi Ajabing himself is no stranger uh, to the Ghanaian public uh, scene. He has actually been a lawyer for some high-profile Ghanaians in the past, including uh, Anas Aremeyao Anas, Dr. Kwabuna Dufour, uh, Gabi Asario Tridako, and the former Black Stars captain, Asan Wajan, uh, was, uh, had his family represented by lawyer Kisi Ajabi. Uh, he has uh, worked with several law firms, including Ayine and Feli, as well as Cromwell Gray LLP. Uh, now, when you look at his CV, it states that his areas of expertise include, uh, law, um, include corporate law, commercial law, maritime law, international commercial arbitration, international business transactions, as well as criminal defense. Now, he's a lecturer, uh, but in addition to his academic work, he certainly uh, does a lot of uh, criminal defense work here in Ghana. Uh, and, uh, of course, this letter states that Kisi Ajabing's appointment is subject to the approval of the majority of parliament. So it's not even subject to um, the, uh, let, let's call it, uh, it, it doesn't require the appointment by the president. It requires the approval by parliament, which will then be ratified by the president's signature. These are the mechanisms that have been put in place by, uh, by the law, uh, Act 959, mm. to ensure that the office of the special prosecutor is indeed independent. Interesting. So, Kojo, where, where do we go from here? Well, the next step will be for Parliament to resume so that the President can write to them, asking them to consider um, Mr. Kisi Ejabeng for the position. At that point, then, of course, Parliament will arrange his vetting. And following that vetting, uh, if the, the General House accepts him uh, following the vetting process, he will then be signed into office by the president as Ghana's second ever um, special prosecutor. Interesting. But Kojo, we know that we should expect more of this on the Super Morning Show, right? Definitely. Uh, we certainly want to speak to those who are uh, in, in, involved in this drama, if you will. We would certainly love to hear from the Attorney General. We're working hard on getting him. Uh, to perhaps give us more of an insight into the choice of um, lawyer Kisi Ajabing. Uh, if we get the opportunity to speak to lawyer Kisi Ajabing himself, that would be fantastic. We certainly want to know how he feels about having been uh, nominated for this all-important position. Now, we have been speaking to some sources 
uh, high up in government, mm -hmm. who have been giving us an indication that uh, lawyer Kisir Jabin actually was being considered for another position, the position of a deputy attorney general. And our high police sources tell us that it was between that position and this one of special prosecutor. In the end, the decision fell uh, on special prosecutor. And we are told that lawyer Kisir Jabin uh, accepted this nomination and is looking forward to the process of betting. We'll see how it goes. Tomorrow is not far from here. Kojo, thank you very much. Back to your lunch. <laughs> Kojo Yaks in there. Um, uh, host of the Super Morning Show. Um, also giving us details about lawyer Kisir Japping, who has now been nominated, as we know, uh, to uh, fill the office of the special prosecutor stepping into the shoes of Martin I made a very interesting times there we'll be keeping our eyes on it to give you more as and when we have it Bye.